Paul Siba is a musician with Iron Range Roots, and he's putting the Mitchell Yards on the map. So tell me the song, Mitchell Yards. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay. Well, the song, I guess I came up with the idea by uh, attending an event by the Preservation Alliance of Minnesota, and this was a couple years back. Um, it was an intention to raise awareness of buildings like this that have these historical narratives behind them that are really important and people need to know about. I read about the bio of Mitchell Yards and it struck me because I grew up in Hibbing and uh, it just uh, moved me and uh, I just decided to write the song. It's a little bit fiction because there's a story that never really happened about a nine-year-old kid and I try to weave that into the history of World War II and connect it to the, you know, the history of Mitchell Yards and the fact that it's a railroad switching station and it had such significance uh, during that important time in our country's history. So uh, trying to put it all together, I guess we call it historical fiction. I'm a social studies teacher, so I can um, connect pretty easy to a place like this. I think it's important to connect the fact that World War II was won, and perhaps it's a bit overstatement to say that Mitchell Yards did it, but it certainly helped contribute to the war effort, and I think that's important to be reminded of that from time to time. Richmond said Jimmy got to get to bed Tomorrow's the night on the starlight dance And in the middle of the night Jimmy flicks on a light 
They all chase off to liberate friends. They say, look at all the fast trains pulling all the cars, heading on down to the Mitchell Yards. Look at all the fast trains pulling all the ore, heading on down to the World War. We say, look at all the fast trains pulling all the cars, heading on down to the Mitchell Yards. Look at all the fast trains pulling all the ore. I like two things about this space. I like the hoods because that says that this is a steam shop. That's why uh, there aren't trains here now. Once they had diesel trains, they just went right by. This is a place that needs to be preserved and it's a story that needs to be heard. There are some really important stories that have been forgotten. And the stories are of the people that used to live around here, the people that used to work here. The range was the heart of Minnesota. We are a mining suit. That's our culture, right? And this is part of that story. And the cool story is, well, the modern story is what Dave's trying to do to the place. This building is the last vestige of our heritage on the Iron Range. They're all gone. It's uh, our, our history from 100 years ago.